six steps to transforming anger into happiness hello hello beautiful souls instagram this is your first time seeing uh me over here during a hypno happy hour and bam it is 12 12 we are starting a pacific time so we are starting right on time hello everyone if this is your first time chiming in say me and then tell me where are you at like where are you zooming in from i think that is so awesome that we get to connect with each other in this beautiful space from all over the world right like how powerful is that okay we have um wonderful souls we have coming on to zoom hi welcome welcome I'm loving it. I'm seeing everyone pop on. Everyone take your time. I know this is your lunch break. You're coming on in. Get ready. Okay. All right. Hello. Zoom is just popping up. I'm loving it. Facebook's going wild. This is so cool. Got Instagram now. Okay, you guys, I'm going to get right into it. I hope I'm excited how about you i hope you are feeling my energy right now because it's about to transform your life okay what is about to happen is going to be completely new what i am sharing with you right now i have never shared in a group setting like this okay hey hi everyone coming in what i'm about to share you guys is so new is so different is so powerful okay i have now spoken to tens of thousands of people on so many different platforms and i have never never shared what i'm gonna do here this is something that i speak to like privately behind doors with like these deep talks I have with my husband. Um, this, these are talks that like what I'm gonna give you right now, people honestly have paid me thousands of dollars for, okay? And I have paid thousands of dollars for <laughs> getting clarity on this topic right here. And this is transforming anger into happiness. And I know that you're probably like, what, what do you even mean, Derricka? what do you mean how are we going to make anger into happiness how are we going to use anger into this powerful energy that's actually going to serve us and benefit us you guys there is a secret sauce to this there is something very powerful in this you are going to be completely transformed forever you'll never have the same relationship with anger ever again after this episode now for uh, instagram this is your first time seeing me get ready but what i'm gonna tell you right now if you're just scrolling keep scrolling keep it going okay because this is here i am your hypno coach here to shift your mindset those on zoom these are my beautiful powerful souls they know they've dedicated they're here they've got their blue pen and paper they know all right facebook knows too i've been there this is not your i'm not here to motivate you and have that wash off minutes later i am here to transform your life I am stepping up, okay, with great value for your mindset. Give me your most valuable thing, which is your time, okay? Be here, be here. This is going to be 20 to 30 minutes of your life. Pay attention. All right, you guys, now for those of you who have not heard my story, anger, anger and me have a, a, a very deep relationship, <laughs> I was, if you ask my mom, she would say, you were born that way. You were just born angry. And, and, you know, I don't know if that's true or not. I think it was a learned habit, something I picked up um, over the years. But, but I was, you guys, for the first decade, two decades plus in my life, I was very angry. I was just this ball of rage. I was frustrated all the time, mad at the world, mad at myself, everybody who came in it was doing something to make me upset. <laughs> you know, all the time, I was just so mad. I mean, to, to, to paint a deeper picture, like literally when I would come into the room, people just knew I was just like this ball of rage, right? I would come into the room and they would scatter like cockroaches. <laughs> 
it was bad you guys it was bad i was literally that just just full of anger okay not even anger just all oh, just stress and rage all the time i was always complaining always complaining about what was going on or what someone else needed to do or what wasn't happening right in my life and how things were going wrong and what you were doing was wrong and and, and that's where my paradigms come from and i tell you this so you can have a great visual of derica because as you know me today I mean, I'm pretty much the happiest person I know now. <laughs> and then as you know me, right? Like I literally, I'm being asked to show up to bring the enthusiasm now, right? Versus how it was. So you absolutely can. And I say this so that way, you know, I don't care where you stand with anger, right? Or how you are in this present moment, you can absolutely, with a few mindset tweaks, with things I'm going to share with you today, transform into that person that you desire to be, okay? Like I was tired of being negative Nelly, a Debbie Downer. I didn't like being angry all the time, right? I and so So it's just it's mindset hacks, if you will, that's going to get you from where you're at into where you want to be. That's all it is. That is what it is. And that secret sauce is going to be here with you today. So yes, get your pen, your paper. All right, tune in, get comfortable because here we go. All right, you guys, you ready? You ready? <laughs> I'm firing you guys up. You get it right. You got that pen. You know, um, there was, you guys, there was something very powerful in this anger that I had. I noticed that all my life, even in my anger, there was something that I did with the anger. And I didn't learn this externally. This was uh, like intuitively what, what some would call it. It was this intuition, it was this guidance that every time I reached this explosion of anger, there was something that I did that I kid you not, within that like same day or days to come, I would manifest something massive. And anyone who knows me can testify to this. I would manifest so powerfully within days of this massive anger that I would have that would just kind of boil up. You know what I'm saying? You know, you've been there. You would just boil up and I would do something that I didn't even have a recipe to or a system to, didn't even know I was really doing it. It wasn't until later that I recognized that there is science behind what I'm doing. There's actually a system and structure to what I did with all of that massive energy. It put powerful particle flow streaming out into what I did want. And it created massive results really, really quick. Do you wanna know? You wanna know what that is? I know you do. I know you do. Okay, you guys. So this is why I'm so passionate about sharing this right now is because anger is inevitable. Everybody is gonna get angry. Everybody is going to get angry from time to time. And depending on where, what level of personal development, if you would, that you're at is uh, the degree in which, how often you get angry. But everyone, I mean, I'm going to share a personal story with you that just happened to me a few days ago where I had that blue, that big woo -woo -woo pressure of anger come back. Yeah, I know, right? So it's like, it happens every maybe quarter more for me, but you know, it used to be every day. <laughs> but it's powerful when you know what to do with it. So anger is inevitable, but suffering and stewing and moaning and groaning and spiraling down in that anger. Now that's a choice. That's a choice. Okay, so you're going to learn what to do when the most natural human thing happens to be used to your advantage. Okay. All right, all right, all right. So I'm going to get um, into, I'm feeling, I'm seeing some, some 
streaming come up here about like, I'm tired of being angry. Anger just happens. Okay. You guys know everything that I'm saying here. I am a clinical hypnotherapist. So everything I say, please tune into every single word. What I'm saying to you has specific purpose to rewire your mindset. Now, if you're someone who is suffering from anger, like I was, and so many others, and believe me, I've taken thousands of people from anger and depression and frustration, rage into living their good life. So just know like what I'm going to tell you right now, if you're if that person and I see these comments, the, the thread is just blowing up with these comments is that there's two main programs that you've got activated in your mindset of why you continually keep having these cycles and patterns of just being triggered into anger. One is that you're a control freak. And I love you so much. <laughs> when I say that, I love you so much, but you're a control freak. It really comes down to like, you're even trying to control yourself and how you wake up and your moods, you're controlling every Tom, Dick and Harry out there. You're really trying to control everybody and everything, the government, the school systems, the policies, the red lights. I mean, you're trying to control. And so what happens is when you, tr when you do something that goes against the laws of physics, like really the laws of nature you're trying to put these, you put these expectations and standards on, that's really what control is. You want that other person to act the way you think they should act or what's best for them, say the things that they should say. You know, you're trying to control your kids and how they should show up and how they should be in life and what they should do in life. And, and da, 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 da. you get what I'm saying? And so like, that's because you have, you, you're a control freak. It is activated in your mindset. That's okay. I was too. Who was my controllers? I'm, I was such a controller. Okay. <laughs> and I have my way or the highway. Like that's how it was, right? But when you realize that that's a, oh, ooh, that's a big part of your mindset. It's just a program. It's not how you were born, sweetheart or handsome man. That's not how you were born. Okay. That could be changed. It is just a program, okay? So you've got the control that's highly activated. You wanna control what your boss is gonna say and what your friends are gonna do and how they say and how they react and how they respond to you. You get what I'm saying? Or you're off purpose. So two big reasons, if you're suffering from anger, two big reasons, you're, you're off purpose is that second one. You know, whether for the day, like not, you could be someone who knows your purpose, but maybe you're just not pursuing it, right? And you're, and you've just kind of lost your plan and your, your inspiration to be following your purpose. And so when we're not living on purpose, um, yeah, we get very overwhelmed, right? We do, we get very frustrated and angry because we're like doing the same old shit you know, lack of a better word, excuse my language, you guys, but we're doing the same old crap all the time. And that is that just like that sheep kind of life is not for us, right? Just continually doing the same old things all the time and like going nowhere, going nowhere fast, like that will bring anger. So two of those things, I do not have the time to go in and like personally work with all of you that are commenting here and even dive into the reprogramming if you have control issues, right? If you're over control, like you wanna get rid of that or you don't know your purpose or you keep falling off of your purpose. I don't have the time to work with you that way, like right here, I just don't. But I would highly recommend you go, whether you're on my profile here on Instagram, whether you're over on Facebook, those here in Zoom know me, like you're already working with me, but go get it fast. I just dropped in the September clarity calls, which is free 30 minutes of coaching with me. And that way we can get more personalized, but that's all I'm gonna say there, you guys just go jump and take a leap and do something about that. So those are the, the, the two main reasons why anger keeps showing up in your life. Okay, so what do you do, Derica? What do you do when the anger comes up? I'm gonna give you guys the recipe right now. And there's six steps, six steps if you didn't see. This is where I always say have that pen and paper handy. Okay, have it ready. So let me just make sure. Yeah, yeah, I feel like we're doing really good on time here. We got this. So step one, you feel crappy. I know you're probably like, how is that part of the recipe? <laughs> it just is. And 
And you don't have to do anything about that, right? You, you just kind of wake up that way. All right, so there are six steps. And I'm going to read through the ingredients list, if you will. Think of this as a recipe. So I'm always giving mindset recipes, right, for your happiness. So six steps, six ingredients, and then I'll go over the instructions for how to make this souffle actually happen. Okay, so six, and oh, if someone could type this in over on Facebook, if you can type in the six, um, Kathy, would you be able to type in in the comment section in live, I um, mean, over on Zoom, step six, and then Instagram if you want to uh, comment here. All right, the six steps so everyone can see. So step one, we have you feel crappy. All right, that that's automatic. <laughs> so I don't want you to make yourself feel crappy. <laughs> this is just what it is you feel crappy all right and then what's the the second step is that when you feel crappy you start thinking negative so the step two is that you notice oh i'm thinking negative all right because when we don't feel good right and this is this is interchangeable but when we don't feel good we all the mind body connection is so so powerful is that when you don't feel good, you'll start thinking negative. So step two is you're thinking negative. And what happens is that when you're thinking negative, it attracts like thoughts. And so you'll continue to think negative. It's like like attracts like, right? So it's like one negative thought, negative, negative thought, and it's just gonna begin to domino, right? You know what I'm talking about. Don't leave me hanging. You know, you start spiraling. It's like, you know that you're feeling crap because something activated one of your controlling or off purpose, you know, anger programs in your mindset. And all of a sudden you start stewing on that thing. You start thinking about all the stuff of how now this is going to happen. Worst case scenario, they're going to do this and I'm going to say this and then that's going to happen. And then life is the crap, right? There's just like this whole like blah, 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 chain of thoughts that come with the negative thinking. Step three, this is a powerful ingredient. Now, this is one that you are making conscious, awakened steps in your recipe because the first two kind of just happen, right? So the, the, the third step here, uh, Kathy, writing this down is that you're going to acknowledge that you're angry. And I don't know how you guys feel about that. You're like, how is that even a recipe? How is that an ingredient in this? Acknowledge that you're angry. Woo, what's that gonna do? Believe me, every single thing that I am telling you right now has powerful purpose and is going to change the wiring of your mindset. When you acknowledge, you acknowledge your brain automatically you start you start controlling the frame again. You, you go into the commander of your life. You're acknowledging, whoa, I am angry, right? In a very different way. You're not just like, oh, oh tumbleweed going in the wind. I'm mad. You're not doing that. You are literally saying, I am angry. So it's the acknowledgement that you are angry, right? Now, remember in that step two, when I say you kind of stew and you get bigger and bigger and more negative into the thoughts that you're having, I want you to imagine yourself as like this uh a pressure cooker because anger any heightened negative emotion is translated as stress and stress on the body produces adrenaline and other unwanted crazy chemicals in your body that make you you start what do you feel like when you get angry like you you start feeling very different Yep, you start feeling like that, your muscles get tense, your breathing changes. I mean, you can actually hear how your breathing changes, right? You're like locking your shoulders and your legs and everything. Your body is physically getting into the mode of fight or flight, right? You guys know this. It's getting into the mode where I, okay, I'm, I'm so upset. I'm, my body thinks I have to protect myself, right? That's, that's what's happening. So like you, you imagine with me for a moment that this is like, combustion, like uh, steam rising, like tons of energy is coming through your body with your anger. All right. So now if you think about like the Instapot, like that pressure cooker, you've got all this, woo, this massive pressure building up. Right. And this is when you acknowledge I'm angry. I'm angry. All right. This is what happened. That pressure cooker is so is ready to pop. 
it's ready to pop and you acknowledge that step four pattern interrupt pattern interrupt now now remember what i'm telling you secret sauce stuff you guys we're getting into the deep stuff we're getting closer and closer into that recipe that i started out with that one of my greatest mentors actually just blew my mind because i had acknowledgement of what i've been doing my whole life this is powerful stuff you guys and my mentor i always give credit i'm in a big powerful network called global information network have been for years and my biggest mentor is kevin trudeau love his work okay so when the, and stuff that i'm paying lots of money for you guys so pay attention rewiring your mindset right now one of the biggest things i was nervous about as before i go into the next few ingredients is uh, i was excited to share this information with you but i was also nervous because honestly you know i'm very transparent with everyone people who pay pay attention and there's there's a lot of people here that are, this is a freebie, right? And so it's just known now in the world that people really take free kind of stuff lightly. They don't take note of it. You know, they just kind of scroll over it. But I felt something very powerful with this group and just such compelled to share what I am with you right now, okay? So regardless that this is a free platform, like I get that, this is very risky. It could be like, most people don't do this. They feel like experts will say I'm wasting my time, but I'm not, I feel this power with you guys. Okay, I feel it. So in this pattern interrupt, here we go. You got, you got that down? Everyone got that down, Kathy? All right, so pattern interrupts the, is, is what? Like, what do you do, Derica? You either yell, or you cry. Now you do this by yourself, please. <laughs> Most people won't tell you this. Like they'll say, no, you know, get around a support group. No, no, don't share those jujus yet. What I want you to do is go to a, a room, go to a closet, go to a bathroom, go outside, go under your house. I don't care. You get somewhere private and remember, remember the Instapot. It has like this little uh, um, little spigot thing on top, you know, and when you turn it, it goes like it starts releasing all the pressure. Right. And so it will release this. Now you imagine your energy buildup. If you scream, if you cry, you I just pop that release valve and you're going to you're going to start releasing this steam of energy. Right, you ever seen two ducks squabble? Right after they fight, right after they fight, let me see, I hope this is in Instagram. All right, right after they fight, they shake, they shake, they go like they, they just shake. And, and that's like their, their mode of getting energy off. So yeah, you can jump up and down, you can shake, but, but when you get that big, what I'm talking about is a level of uh, anger that's like tipping rage, if not rage, like you're just pissed. All right, don't play around. We're, we're being honest. So you can just, ah, and you can scream in a pillow, right? You can scream outside. I don't care. If you don't care, I don't care. Just scream, right? <laughs> scream. Now, every once in a while, I'm, I'm someone who now at this point in my life, maybe I cry four times a year, like at most, right? I really, ever cry. And the other day I cried. Like that's how much it was like pattern interrupt. All right, this is big. I'm angry. And I just like, just, I knew, I knew something had hacked my mind. I freaking knew it, right? Like, you know, something got you, something got you. And that's your power coming in. And then I was just like, raw, like I just like cried it out, you guys. And I'm being very transparent, being very vulnerable. It is what it is. You cry. Don't act like you don't cry. Cry on purpose. <laughs> And so you cry or you scream or you shake or you run. I want you to do something exerting to really get what just happened, that, that anger fight or fight energy out of your body. Now, now you guys, this is going to be five. Ingredient five is the, that secret ingredient that I was doing my whole life. I did naturally my whole freaking life. And this one's called pivot. 
Five is going to be pivot. So you did the pattern interrupt and now step five ingredient is going to be you pivot. What do you mean? Think of like an actual pivot, like you're rotating, okay? You're gonna rotate, you are gonna totally pivot. Pivot into what, where, what are you talking about? Yes, I'm gonna tell you. So you just acknowledge something that you don't want. And only through that, you guys, please listen, this is things I've studied for years about, and I've did tons of training and seminars actually teaching what I'm going to tell you right now. This is what has gotten me from living a life of scarcity. I mean, you want to talk about like third world stuff in America is how I grew up. Extreme poverty levels, homelessness, hunger, food banks, shelters, motel living, like I, I just want to like, paint you a picture of like, this is what's gotten me out of that into now having multiple properties, multiple thriving companies, right? I haven't lived check to check in a long time. Okay. So it's like, and I'm happy with my soulmate and my health and my kids. And like, I say this not because I have an ego, but because I want you to listen because I want you to know I love you and I have that guidance. I have been there and I have now the understanding of how to go here. Do you hear what I'm saying? That's the only reason why I tell you these things. So the pivot, the pivot ingredient five, you guys, it's not until we experience what we don't want, do we fully understand what we do want. Hear that, it's not until you experience what you don't want. Do you have a birthing, an understanding of what it is you do want? You feel me? Are you picking up what I'm laying down? I'm getting goosebumps sharing this because I can feel the heart swelling. That is what it is. All right. So in that moment where you're in extreme anger, it's what you don't want. Here's an example. <sighs> For me going through life, it was like, I don't want to walk. I want to ride a bus. I don't want to ride a bus. I want to ride a car, right? Like, I don't, uh, I don't want to be homeless. I want to have an apartment. I don't want to rent. I want to pay a mortgage. Do you hear what I'm saying? Through what we don't want, what we do want, right? I don't want my heart broken anymore. I want to love my heart. I want to love me. I don't want to be lonely anymore. I want my soulmate. Can you feel that? Put in the comments right now, like what don't you want and what do you want? It's through the contrast that we have clarity. All right. Like I didn't want to be a bitch. I wanted, you know, I want to be a lover. I didn't want to be this flighty, hyphy, angry person, right? I wanted to be enthusiastic, joyful, loving, powerful, empowering. What do you want? It's not until the depths of the contrast do you fully recognize what it is that you want, all right? Is it like, I don't want to be unhealthy. Well, I want to be healthy, right? I see the comments. Ah, I'm loving it. Yes. Yes. You know, you, you don't, you don't want to struggle. You want to strive. Right. I was like, I don't want to be broke. I want some money. And I was like, I want, like, I, I, I want to be rich. And I was like, no, I want to be wealthy. Right. There's a difference. It's like every time you keep climbing this letter and you keep getting bigger and better. Yeah. I see beach houses. I see all kinds of stuff. Yes, baby. Yes. Put down what it is, right? You don't want to just be in this like little, you know, little house. I remember when I just had a 1200 square foot house and I was like, even though I had bought it at that time, it was tiny and life was growing. And I was like, oh, I want a, I want a 2,500 square foot house. You know, you just like, you keep hitting these necks. And now I'm like, now I'm at the point, you guys, I'm like, I want a 10,000 square foot house. Let's go. Like, come on, right? Let's do it. Like, why not? Because it's through through what you don't want and somehow when I was a little girl and there's people there's people like this daily massages I see that girl yes you can have one like a, a house manager that does it for you yes put it in the ether so like literally I remember I remember you guys let's have a pause here like 
my whole life, I just gave you some examples. Like I didn't want to be hungry. I wanted to be full. You know, there were so many pivot points and I had no idea that I was pivoting. Like I would go from anger and then like crying or yelling to like, this is what I want. And I would use massive, you, you feel when you're angry, it's like this explosion of energy comes through your body, right? Most people won't tell you this. Most people say anger is bad and you're bad for being angry. No, I said, anger is inevitable. You use it. It's yours. It doesn't control you. You're the commander of your life. And so you then use that, that immense particle flow into putting it and streaming it towards what you want. Now, see, I was doing this unknowingly. Okay. I would get my heart broken. I would get cheated on, you know, by my first boyfriends. I would even get hit and abused by some of my first boyfriends. And I tell you what, I was like, I don't want this. I want real love. Like, I want to know what that's like. I want to know honesty. I want to know uh, just someone who's faithful and committed, right? So it's like, I was able to just like not sit in the shit. Now, what 85% of people do, if not more, unfortunately, they never pivot. They never pivot, you guys. They stick and you've done this and I've done this. We will sit and we will have, we'll sit in our poopy diaper and we would just complain and moan and groan. And I'm angry. And we'll just sit there and just like, Bleh. and if they would only do this and I'm poor me and victim story and never become a victor. You hear what I'm saying? Like most people stay right there a step four. You're not anymore. You're not anymore right? You're going to go five and you're going to pivot and say, all right, this is what I don't want. I'm tired of debt. I'm angry because I'm in debt. Okay. I want to be debt free. And, and now six, six. Yes. I see the comments and you guys are just powering me up. Oh my goodness. Okay. Six is the plan because you see when you have that pivot moment in your life and you're saying, you know, I don't want to be lonely anymore. I'm tired of being so lonely. I want to be next to someone. I want to have a partner. I want to go through life with someone. I want to have this slingshot, this benefiting, this co-creation, right? You're saying like, like you are so passionate about, it. I can go right into the mode and get passionate right now. Like you go right into that zone, you guys. When you're there, I promise you, you've been here many times, so you can validate what I'm saying. When you're there, you'll get an impulse. You'll get this extreme impulse to create a plan. Don't you not? You start thinking of how, right? <laughs> Automatically, you're just like, ping, 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 ping. Yes, yes, you write out a plan. Now, this is like secret sauce. Uh, six that only a really other small percentage of people actually do is listen to that impulse and they'll start writing down the plan. I, I wrote down specifically when I was 16 years old, I wrote down specifically that my plan for owning a home because I was tired of being evicted and having a struggle with my family to find a place to live that was hard, right? That made me angry. And so I made a plan when I was 16 to buy a house. And I started thinking about all these ways and I started writing it down. I'm going to buy a house. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start, I'm going to make more money. I'm going to, you know, I didn't, I didn't think of specifics, but I had this general plan. I'm going to make more money. I'm going to call this place. I'm going to do all these things. I just wrote down this plan because I'm going to have a house. I wrote that down. By the time I was 20 years old, I bought my first house four years later, right? Four years later. And so and I'm telling you, there was a lot of, a lot of beautiful pivot points that got me there, but this, this emotion is what fuels you there. If I would lose my, my desire, my passion for my goal, you see, I can get complacent and we can never do. And that's what 85 plus percent of people do. They don't do this five and six set. So you make a plan, okay? You you want this lover. All right, well, like one of, one of my beautiful VIPs that's on this call with me today, she said she wanted a soulmate. And what did she do? 
she invested, right? She got a coach that has taken many people, myself, into having a soulmate. She knew, she created a plan, right? And she's going after it. And so you use, but if we're just kind of lollygagging <laughs> and we don't really use our energy and we're just staying grateful and like comfortable, eh, well, that's where you're going to stay. So when the anger comes in, this is what you do to, to transform your anger into happiness that's going to, man, I wish I could just, I am, I'm downloading this into your brain right now. You feel me on every level of your being. Anger is not a bad thing. Anger is an extremely good thing. And a lot of really high mentors will tell you this, that there's, there's anger and then there's like extreme happiness, <laughs> enthusiastic, two big points of energy that creates massive particle flow. And when you point them in the right direction, you are, you're successful, baby. You are headed, you are on that journey and things are coming in fast. All right. So that is the information that's going to change your life forever. And I promise if you apply those steps, you apply those steps. And I'm sure that most of you, you're smart. You, you've already got to step four naturally. Now you start making step five and step six of this recipe a part of you. Watch out. You become just unstoppable, indestructible. I mean, a man, watch out because you are moving mountains. Okay, no one's going to mess with you. My husband knows when I start getting excited about something, he's like, all right, all right, all right, all right. Because he knows like things are about to go down in my life. Okay, so that is how you get to show up in your life. All right, I can, I can go on for days, but I feel like you felt that. I feel like this was just such a powerful moment. Again, you guys, wh whoever stayed on this long, if you're wanting more of that personal guidance that obviously I can't have the time here to do, just go find somewhere in my bio on my website. It's all around. I'll drop it in the links. I just put in my September free coaching. Remember, those are generous spots that I just find any space where I can plop those in in my life of giving and they go fast. All right, so that's under clarity calls. All right, I love you guys so much. Like truly, I'm standing here for you. I know that you can be, do, or have anything that you desire. And these are the tweaks. These are the shifts right here that I'm gonna share with you. And I don't care what people think. I'm gonna keep telling you all the truths. This is just what it is. I'm gonna hold you high. All right, I love you guys comment, share this video. If you had any kind of epiphanies or anything you want to share, like, dude, don't be stingy. Put down your thoughts and your loves, like comment, share, because I read every single one of them. Instagram, welcome to your first hypno happy hour. This is Derica, your hypno coach. Hope it wasn't too much for you. And um, love you guys. You guys are all my personal subscribers here on Zoom and then over on Facebook. Mwah! Love you guys. And um, oh, these messages, I'm loving them. I will see you guys so soon next Tuesday, if not before. All right, you're awesome and you're awesome. Bye, you guys.